Hello, we are currently with Mr. Joe Boyd, the director of Heels of War. Hello, Mr. Joe Boyd. Thank you for talking to us today. I would like to ask you, can you please tell me a little bit about your film Heels of War? Uh, Heels of War is my fe first feature film and um, it's, uh, it, it's world premiere It's going to happen in Dubai Film Festival through its eighth edition. So um, this movie started like to be done from five years ago. Uh, we started on working on the scenario and uh, you know, it took a long process because it's not very easy to do independent movies in the Middle East till now. But uh, I'm so happy that I'm releasing the movie now through this big event and big festival where it's really an honor for any like new uh, director to launch his movie through like this festival. And tell me, uh, what is the story about? The story in Tanomaxi is about um, a, a, an arrogant girl who leaves Beirut during the invasion, the Israeli invasion in 82, uh, towards an isolated village in the south. And uh, there, an unexpected meeting will happen. This is maybe the main or direct line of the movie, but the hidden one is the narrator who decides to count on uh, his own way, the, uh, the meeting of his parents, of his own parents, how they uh, met, how they loved each other, how, how the, their own stories happened for real, but all this was messing, by messing with their own memories, with their small uh, stories, hidden secrets, everything, and to show all this to the public, with like sometimes an arrogant eye of, of this, this small narrator in the film. And how did this title Heels of War, you know, come about? For me the movie uh, is talking not about the war that can happen between countries but it's about the war that will happen in any relation or like uh, um, you know, it's, it's the, the love who will generate this war between these two uh, persons that that wasn't you know, we, we we didn't expect their meeting and by heels of war it's the passion of the woman through her heels who will invade this guy as if as uh, the invasion of the israeli uh, uh, army happened in beirut in 82 so so it's uh, that's why it's heels of war in english and it's a different meaning and different name in, in Arabic for the movie. Uh, how would you pronounce the name in Arabic? In Arabic it's Tanura Maxi. And that means the long skirt. Uh, because it's a transformation in the cassock of, of the priest to a maxi skirt that will be... Uh, that the girl will wear maybe, not the, not the priest. You mentioned that the film was shot in Lebanon. Yeah. You know, what kind of challenges and difficulties did you face shooting this movie? Uh, in fact, the difficulties wasn't in the shooting of the movie because especially now in Lebanon, it's uh, becoming a big industry, the cinema, the commercial shoots, any like shootings in the cinema world. But what was a little bit difficult was find the right cast who can play this two uh, complex roles of the parents and what I want to um, uh, to put and to let let out from these two characters who will play my own parents in this movie and then in the time of the release now it's not easy also to let go a project that have lived with me like for five years ago so it's a little bit on the emotional side it's tiring it's a little bit um, a weird to to finish a movie that you have been worked on it for a lot a lot a lot a lot and how did you go about finding the cast of this movie we did a long sessions and the big sessions of casting for this movie because i had many ages i had many characters uh, that reveals uh, the shades of true characters and true persons so it wasn't easy at all to find them quickly and then i should have 
the character of people that can fit the period that I'm uh, I'm uh, shooting in. It was 80s in Lebanon, so I cannot go into uh, 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 thin eyebrows or into tattoos or into some like uh, uh, new features in the faces that we can see now or plastic surgeries or anything. So it wasn't also very easy to find this true character that can be the real characters of this village in this specific period. So now you're done with your first you know, feature film. What projects do you have lined up after this? I'm not done yet from my first feature film. It's the world premiere of the movie and now we have a long process. We have the distribution. We have more festivals waiting for our new upcoming baby. So I think for like a few months we're just gonna work on Heels of War to promote it to the maximum, to let it uh, go into everywhere and uh, then definitely uh, I hope I will be like starting into the writing of a new film that can be uh, uh, showing new perspective, uh, a new vision of cinema and of the reality that's surrounding me because I don't know if we said so, if we said that, but uh, through this movie I am doing a reborn because as if I put everything on it, every uh, uh, nostalgic uh, or uh, small feeling that uh, I passed through and now I'm moving forward to somewhere else. So, How has the uh, Dubai International Film Experience been for you, you know, this festival? So far it has been great. Uh, Dubai Film Festival is so welcoming. Uh, we are meeting a very you know, a lot of, uh, of, of, of very professional people in the market, in, in the panels, and uh, even uh, directors from all over the world and producers. And uh, other than that, I enjoyed a lot the screenings of my, of my film because uh, you know, it was really nice. The Q&A was very interesting. It opened a debate. I felt... Uh, uh, how much the people are uh, are responsive to this kind of cinema, to this kind of movies, and uh, that's it. So so far, it's great. We're gonna wait for also the ending ceremony and hope will uh, stay like a good memory for us this uh, participation in this festival. Would you consider using Dubai as a location to shoot maybe upcoming projects in the future? Maybe why why not definitely uh, why not definitely uh, it can be a destination to do uh, new projects and uh, and uh, to like uh, have a bigger uh, area to uh, to shoot to uh, to show sides from the Arab world because you know we shoot a lot in Egypt or in Lebanon or in. Uh, in the Middle East, but it's nice also to see this, uh, uh, th these places that is so interesting and, and we have a lot of places that we should discover through the eye of the camera. And okay, last question. What advice would you give to aspiring filmmakers, you know? But what I can say for young filmmakers is uh, continue in making films and do films even if you don't have funds, even if you don't have uh, big productions, but it comes, just try and keep trying and have the faith in the world of the cinema. Because if you have the faith, you can uh, do really nice things that will um, attract people, attract producers, and uh, you can like hit the world with your ideas and with your films. So don't be afraid and don't be like negative because we don't have a lot of push from the producers or from big big uh, uh, production companies or cinema funders so so just do whatever it you feel that you want to do uh, take any camera that you will find in front of you and uh, um, uh, and and let it rolling rolling and then you can say a lot Thank you so much for your time, Mr. Yusuf. Hello, it's Joe Baid, the director of Heels of War. Uh, keep watching uh, Manipal, Dubai TV.